Welcome back, friends. In our last lesson, we read this gorgeous book, Zinnia's Flower Garden, and talked about the story elements. We found out that this story happens in not just one time period, but all four seasons. Can you say the seasons with me? First is spring, then summer, then fall, and last, winter. Now today we are going to be reviewing and sequencing our story on our story timeline. A timeline tells us what happens first at the beginning of the story, and then what happens in the middle, and what happens at the end. And it helps us to be able to summarize that story. That means to tell the most important parts so that you can share the important parts of the story with your mom or dad or a friend. Summarizing is so important to be able to talk about what we've learned. Let's sing our summarizing song together to remind us of what we do when we summarize and sequence events. The sequence of events helps our story make sense. What happens first and next and last? What events have passed? Let's start with one word till we're done. The journey's just begun. All right, friends, like our song said, the sequence of events tells us what happened first and next and last. So let's start with what happens first in our story. Zinnia's flower garden. I'm going to open my book and just do a picture walk at the beginning of the story. See if we can remember what is Zinnia doing at the beginning of our story. Looks like she is digging to plant seeds. So the first thing that Zinnia does is plants seeds in the garden. So we're going to put that first on our timeline. Zinnia plants seeds in the garden. Now, what does she do next? Let's look and see if we can summarize. She does so many different things, right? She waits for the seeds to sprout. She makes sure that they get enough water and enough um, nutrition in the soil. She takes care of any weeds that spring up. She waters her plants. She looks and makes sure that the greedy bugs aren't eating her plants. She does so many things. What she's doing is taking care of her plants. So what Zinnia does next is cares for her plants every day. We see that she cares for her plants every day. That's what happens next in the story. And when she cares for her plants, look, they keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger until buds start to form and finally she gets her first flower then more and more and more of the plants start to bloom until look zinnia's garden is full of flowers that's the next event in our story zinnia's garden is full of flowers how beautiful all right, so let's summarize. So far, Zinnia plants seeds in her garden. She cares for her plants every day, and they grow until Zinnia's garden is full of flowers. Now, do you remember what she does with the flowers? She enjoys them, sits and reads with them. Cut, she cuts some to arrange in bouquets. She also, on one summer day, sets up a lemonade stand. She sells lemonade and puts up a sign, pick your own flowers. Customers come and gather bunches of flowers and buy lemonade. So next we see that Zinnia sells lemonade and flowers. That's the next item in our story. All right. Zinnia sells lemonade and flowers. Okay, let's keep going with our picture walk and see what happens next. Oh, the fall is coming and as in autumn, the weather starts getting 
cooler. She picks her last flowers and she finds seeds that have formed. She collects the seeds, it says. She saves them for planting next spring. So that's what happens next in the fall. She saves seeds from the flowers for planting next spring so that she can start over again. And then last, we see the last season in our book is winter. Xenia looks at, out at the snow during the winter. Look at that. Amazing. So let's see if we can use this sequence of events to summarize what happens in our story, Zinnia's flower garden. So first, Zinnia plants seeds in her garden. She cares for her plants every day. Then they grow and grow until Zinnia's garden is full of flowers. Zinnia takes these flowers and she sells lemonade and flowers at her lemonade stand. After she's picked the flowers, Zinnia saves seeds for planting next spring. And last, we see Zinnia looking at the snow out of her window. And in the spring, she'll start planting again. This is Amazing friends, what a beautiful story. Thank you so much for helping me summarize and sequence our story together. I can't wait to learn more about plants and flowers with you. See you then. Bye-bye.